put up at a mark here and we're going to fish for some jewfish. So using some soft plastics, it's pretty reefy bottom so I'm going to rig it up as a drop shot. A couple of little ball sinkers down the bottom. That's about the heaviest duty hook I've been able to find because we're using some pretty heavy tackle here. So it's simple stuff, you go straight into the nose, just up to the barb and then straight out the bottom. Pull it all the way through. You can just see there how that hook's laying nice and straight. Measure up your plastic. I generally try and line it up with a single piece of glitter to find the mark. And there you go, it's got to sit straight. If it's not straight, it's no good. It's just going to spin, the fish won't eat a helicopter. So when that's down on the bottom, it'll just be swimming about a foot off the reef, which is perfect. So hopefully we won't get snagged up. Got another fish on here on a soft plastic, it's not a big fish. Looks like it could be a, a small West Australian jewfish. Now the legal size for these fish is 50 centimetres, so we'll let this guy go. See that there? Big mouth on him. Now these guys are probably one of the best eating fish out here. And we're, really what we're chasing out here is a, a much bigger specimen of one of these guys. I'm just going to spear him back in the water. There he goes. Well, he's had a hook up. He didn't feel too big at the start, but he's really woken up now. A decent fish here. I was actually just rigging up a new squid because it's been fairly quiet on another jig head, but might stick with this rig, I think, for a little bit longer. Come around this side. I got him well off the bottom, so I'm going to take my time. Just work him up nice and easily. Now we've got some colour here. Oh, and it's a Jew, I think. West Australian Jewfish. Nice one too. Pull that hook right in the top lip. Pass me that. See that plastic hanging off him? What a ripper fish this one is. Just going to get this hook out nice and quietly. break anything. Now this is a male fish, you can tell by that long tail fin. Females is a much more, you know, more like the rear, the, rear, the underside dorsal fin there, without that long spine going through the top. What a great sport fish. Probably the best eating fish here in Western Australia. Now we'll just put this guy on the lie detector. What does that say there? Between 10 and 11, it's difficult on the boat. That's not a bad West Australian Jewfish. What a ripper. Wait, 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 slow down, slow down. 
Here we go. It's one of the disadvantages of fishing four or five lines when one rod goes off, especially if it's a mackerel or a tuna. I can end up going through all the rest of them. And all hell can break loose. It looks like we're onto a good fish here finally. The first run was a screamer. Didn't see any surface activity, it was totally out of the blue. At the moment I'd say this is probably a mackerel. We're not too far out from shore. This is the real um, prime spot. Now fishing lures, we've had a couple of hits already and we've sort of missed them, so I'm gonna fish this, fight this fish fairly light. Not too much drag. Just don't know how well it'll be hooked. Not doing a lot now, he's just getting his breath back. Small yellow fin tuna on the pink lure. This is a typical yellow fin that you could expect to catch here at Kelbarry. Around about probably eight to 10 kilos. So not a big fellow, but um, they don't really get really big ones here. Probably max out at 30, 40 kilos as an average. But um, you know, still great eating size. And this guy will make fantastic sashimi.